on the Suns and their new owner? No, I'm not. Matter of fact, I think it's great uh, to have two basketball minds with him and James Jones so that they could agree to disagree. Um, here's the thing about Isaiah Thomas. There's no hidden agenda. He's bought in there because he know that the Suns want to win now. And there's no discredit to CP3. He's aging. He can't stay healthy. But if you have an opportunity to either ride or see what's going to happen with Chris Paul or get a player like Bradley Bill, damn it, they made the right move. And the one thing that no one should ever question is the basketball mind of Isaiah Thomas. He's well-respected around the league. He's well-respected around the NBA brotherhood. He's well-respected around the brotherhood, period. When he calls my phone, damn it, I pick up every single time. And I know I got to be prepared to listen to listen for an hour and a half, but damn it, I'm going to soak in all the knowledge in the world. So when it comes down to him being in this situation with the Phoenix Suns, it's no hidden agenda. The only agenda is to build this roster to help the Suns win the championship now. Well, let me say a couple of things. Number one, approaching that last part, I have a problem. And the problem is, is that when Isaiah Thomas picks up the phone, when he calls you, you pick up the phone. All I know is that some people who remain nameless is really me. I got to call Kendrick Perkins three times before I get him on the phone. I got to call him three times. I mean, he's, he's, he's very oh. difficult to catch. Kendrick Perkins is not easy to catch. I just want to let the, everybody know that. So, okay. So now I know, because sometimes I'll be wondering whether this phone is working. He didn't have your okay. number no, thing. I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you, he's hard to catch. Hold on. Hold, what? Hold, hold, hold on, Molly. Molly, do not let him sit up here and lie yeah. to the American people. You didn't, you didn't have when his number, When he calls right? me, guess what? If I no, when uh, when that say calls me, it may take me a minute to call him back. That's just because I didn't have my phone in my hand, and my I phone see, stays yeah. on silent. Other than that, like when you. he calls, I pick up. Okay. okay, so I don't know what he he knows better than that. But go ahead. His his his, his, his phone is in the lunch pail, but in the lunch box. But that that's a different story for nothing. <laughs> let, 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 let's let's get to let's get to our Isaiah Thomas. But before I get to Isaiah Thomas, I have something on national TV that I want to say because I love me some Chris Paul, one of the top six point guards in the history of basketball. Uh, great marketing person, great person, great dad, great family. I've, I've known him for years. I got a lot of love for him. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, he's annoying me. I'm tired of hearing when you're doing these interviews about how your kids are receiving text messages or somebody saw something that was said about you, how he was telling somebody that, you know, your, your father's never won a championship. Wait a minute. When people talk about Chris Paul, they talk about one of the greatest point guards to have ever played this game. They talk about a floor general, a consummate leader, an individual who is a role model on and off the court, on and off the court. What is all of this nonsense about you being victimized and coming across like, oh my goodness, your kids are seeing, so what? What are they saying? If your kids are, if your kids are hearing anything about you, it's about your greatness and how most of the basketball world wants you to win the championship because it is literally the only thing missing from your resume. He's on the air the other day talking about how he's flying and, oh, my goodness, it's a hard business. And you know what? He didn't know about the trade. Yes, you did. Because the fact of the matter is you're getting paid $30.8 million, okay? It wasn't fully guaranteed. Only $15 million of it was guaranteed. But in order for the trade to go through, your salary had to be guaranteed. So you got the $30.8 million. You didn't know that? That was a surprise to you? Stop it. You're great. You're a great person. You're a great athlete. You're a great player. You're a great role model. Stop playing the role of victim. Because that's not true. Now let's get that out the way. Let's get to Isaiah Thomas. If you are Isaiah Thomas, we all know where this is going. His two years as the coach of the New York Knicks was horrible. Because it was horrible, because he only won 34% of his games, and the way things ended in New York City, people are going to use that as an excuse to excoriate him and act like he has no business being associated with the game of basketball. I'm telling you, America, you're wrong. Isaiah Thomas is a great, great basketball mind. Go to NBA TV and watch him. 
Listen to him talk about the game of basketball. Listen to him break down the game of basketball, and you will know he knows what the hell he's talking about. Some people just ain't meant, Molly. Kendrick Perkins, please put him back up. Some people just ain't meant for official positions because there are politics that come with it and pressure that comes with that. And that is what Isaiah Thomas didn't handle well because Isaiah Thomas, Molly, and Perk had a lot of personal stuff that's nobody's business that was going on, and it's not the stuff that was reported and stuff like that. Had a lot of personal issues that was going on in his life to the point where I was begging him to quit the Knicks. I go back 30 years with Isaiah Thomas. I was begging him mm -hmm. to literally quit the New York Knicks because I said, there's no way you're going to win. You've got a lot of stuff going on. You're distracted. There's too much going on that has nothing to do with the game of basketball. You need to walk away before you stain your career indelibly because people are going to think it's just basketball decisions and it's personal decisions. Listen, at one point in time, he's sitting up there butting heads with Stephon Marbury. Stephon Marbury bought a house right behind his backyard. Right behind his backyard. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> when they butting heads and stuff like that. It's the kind of stuff that was going on. Now. You understand what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of things. I'm telling you right now, the position that Isaiah Thomas is in right now is perfect because he's not running the organization. That's, that's Ishbia. And he's got James Jones and others that are making the decisions. But to be a counsel to the owner, to talk to the owner about the game of basketball, the personalities that invade the sport, Who's a dog mm -hmm. in a good way and who's a dog in a bad way? And all of those things in between. Isaiah Thomas knows enough about the game. National champion in college. Two-time champion in the NBA. Should have been on the original dream team. Our Tim McMahon joined the Brian Windhorst podcast and had this to say about the situation. I have heard indirectly that Ja and people close to Ja, perhaps people formerly close to Ja, have this feeling that the NBA is out to get him, the media is out to get him. All right, that's Brian Windhorst and the Hoop Collective podcast, where podcasts are available and on YouTube. Wendy joining us now. Okay, what are your thoughts on the report that Ja Moran's camp saying the NBA in the media is out to get him, Wendy? Well, I think if you look at what the Players Association put out, the Players Association, with the statement that they made, I mean, they didn't use these words directly, but they felt that Ja was being treated unfairly with this suspension. Um, the thing about it is, is that it's, you, you have to, you know, and, and Tim McMahon said this, he's being suspended technically for this violation uh, where this was, this was seen on social media, but it's not what he's totally being suspended for. He's being suspended because of what happened in March. He's being suspended because there were other things that happened in the, in the, earlier in the NBA season where there was investigations, specifically the night after the Grizzlies played the Pacers in Memphis. And so what I think the frustration, or at least one of the frustrations is at the league office level, is that there hasn't been personal accountability that's been taken along the way. As Stephen A. said the other day, Friday, as soon as Ja put out the statement, Stephen A. said it's hard to believe these statements. He keeps putting out these statements, but his actions are not mirroring that. And his actions sort of indicate that he is not taking seriously what he's being told by his team, by Adam Silver, by the league with the previous suspension. And so that's what I think the real issue here is, is that um, an understanding that there's going to have to be a personal accountability and that's what the NBA is trying to, to enforce with this suspension, is trying to create personal accountability because the number of statements and, 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 and the, nothing matters. The only thing that matters is the actions, and the actions are showing that there hasn't been remorse. And that is where the organization and the, and the league is with this extremely talented player. Let me make sure you quote me accurately. What I said Friday is that when Ja Morant statement came out, I said, no one believes you, bro. No one believes you. That, that is what, what I said. said directly, okay? And I mean it because the point is you might be telling the truth. Nobody believes you. Why, do not, why doesn't anyone believe you? Because it was the same damn statement you gave the first time. And then weeks later, you found yourself in that predicament again. 
and it was in the aftermath of you meeting with the commissioner face to face and the incident happened again. And so when you have these people, you know, the Tim McMahons of the world and others reporting, you know what? I, you know, people feel like, you know, they're out to get Ja. What you just broke down, Wendy, if they truly, truly feel that way. Well, that explains why Ja Morant has found himself in these predicaments. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.